Hello everyone and welcome back to This Week in Mythic Plus. Now this week we have bolstering, which means when a mob dies, all of the other enemies that are in combat around it will gain a buff both to damage and HP. Grievous, which means that when a player falls below 90% HP, they will receive a stacking debuff that hurts them for a static amount of HP every 2 seconds. And tyrannical, which means that bosses have more HP and do more damage. Now tanks. Because of bolstering, we want to keep our pulls to about 4 or 5 mobs. If you end up pulling more mobs, the bolstering stacks will end up staggering a bit and you'll actually end up with mobs that are going to one-shot you. So limiting your pulls to about 4 or 5 is what you want to do. Also you want to AoE and cleave as evenly as possible, even if you are just a tank. And this week there's no need to max out your stamina pool because of Grievous. So focus on survival, whether that's armor, avoidance, versatility, whatever more survival means for you as a tank in your class, focus on that this week. A bigger HP pool won't lead to much because of Grievous. Now even as a tank you should be considering using Fighter Chow this week, it'll help counter Grievous perfectly. And you should also throw a Pridas on this week to counter both Grievous and Tyrannical. It'll give you a nice buffer before Grievous starts going off on you, and it'll avoid you getting one shot by Tyrannical. The last thing you need to worry about is if you pull something that's more than 5 mobs, and they start going down staggered and one of the mobs has more than 5 stacks of bolstering, snare and kite the rest of that pull, much like you would on a necrotic week. Now DPS, this week you want to AoE and cleave as evenly as possible so that bolstering has the minimal amount of impact on you as possible. You should be helping your tank snare and stun if a mob gets to more than 5 stacks of bolstering. You should also be equipping a Pridas this week, it'll help give you a buffer zone before Grievous starts going off on you. Your healers will thank you, and it'll also stop you from getting one shot from any tyrannical boss abilities. This week you should also be using Fighter Chow in order to get rid of Grievous right after a pull, since sometimes the healer will go oom during the pull and immediately after you will die to Grievous even though you're no longer in combat. Also remember to use defensive cooldowns on big boss abilities because it is tyrannical this week. Healers, this week you have to bring water. There is no way around it. So spam trade chat, try to get a mage to make you some water and bring that with you. You should also be using your Pridas this week. It'll help minimize healing on yourself as well as on everybody else that also uses it. So encourage your group to use a Pridas this week. You should also be using Fighter Chow, since by using this, out of combat regeneration will counter Grievous. And you should also pick up any talents that help your AoE healing do more. So this week, spec into AoE healing and try to maximize that as much as possible. Be prepared to spam your AoE heals as soon as the big AoE or cleave ability lands, whether it's from a trash that's bolstered or from a big boss ability. Overall this week the difficulty is a 7 out of 10. It is still a difficult week because you can't completely negate any of these affixes, but by wearing a Pridas, using Fighter Chow, and not letting bolstering stacks get too high, and kiting in case they do, you get to minimize the impact that these affixes will have on your group this week. So keep that in mind when you go out there. It is a difficult week. Stick with your group in case you have one or two wipes and get your plus 10 done. Thank you all for watching, and as always, good luck out there.